at Eden Nightclub at the Seaview Hotel with um, Booty Love tonight. So girls, do you just want to tell us a bit about yourself? What's your name, sir? Hi, oh, well, I'm Nadia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cherise. Nadia and Cherise, the yeah. lovely names. So what do you think of Eden um, so far? We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to performing tonight and, you know, having a really good time, you know. And we love the hotel as well and obviously we love Donegal as well, so yeah. It's great. Everybody loves Donegal. <laughs> have some connections here in Donegal yourself, do you? Yeah, my grandparents were both brought up here. One's a Boyle, one's a Shanahan, so. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> time here though, and I really love it. I think it's quite stunning. Gigging is more um, of a personal thing because obviously we love performing on stage and we love performing live. And it's kind of um, proof, like telling the rest of the world, yes, we have natural talent and we can sing and you know there's there's no kind of trying to get around it like we like to just show people what you know that we can actually do it and it gives them more of a reason to appreciate our music and us we've got an album coming out um, you've an album yeah um beginning of next year we haven't got a name for it as yet um but yeah we just had a single we just released the first single off of the um, second album which is called say it so, and I think it's going to be a second single and then obviously on to um, the album, so can't oh. wait. Where would you find it if you were to look for it? Well, you could always go on our, on our MySpace page, mm. which is Booty Love Official MySpace. Um, and obviously you'll, you can see all the tour dates and, and also, you know, they'll keep dating and letting you know like when the album's coming mm. out or the single. Um, and obviously we put a like, little bit of information on there every now and then just to say what we're doing, little blogs and stuff like that. And also we've got a Booty Love Facebook page as well, so check that out as well. You've covered all areas yeah. of it, yeah. yeah. So you girls must be on the road quite a bit. How does that affect you? Is it stressful or how I does think, it...? Well, we've been doing it for for years now, so we, you have to get used to it, so we're used to it. There's you know, certain things we bring with us to occupy our time while we're on the road. And, I mean, the travelling is, you know, kind of like almost the best part about this job anyway because you get to go to different places so yeah, it's exciting different yeah you just see different just scenery people it's just a whole different experience everywhere you get every place you go so it's, it's, it's quite good sometimes it can get, get a bit stressful because you get tired and stuff but mm. it's really good to see to, to get out of where you're from and just go and see different things definitely yeah she's are lucky in that sense you know no. um, and what about the X Factor what do you think of that is it bad for it good for it there are, I think we don't really believe in, yeah, we don't really believe in the whole manufactured, you know, thing. Mm. They, they got it quite easy, you know, they just go on the TV, quickly sing a song and then they, it's easy for them because they don't have to, to sacrifice a lot of, as many things that we've had to sacrifice and, well, that we still have to sacrifice. And, but the good thing about, I mean, especially this year, there is some really good talent out there and they, I guess they deserve a chance to kind of, to be heard and stuff like that. But there's a lot more to come. Like I hope whoever wins X Factor has got a very solid head and a solid mind because it's a hard job. You're not just going on stage and singing and you have to be very, very prepared and you have to be able to handle it. Yeah.